Hi everyone, this is the second video in our Arduino Robotics for Beginners series. We are here to build our first robot and also to learn important skills like programming and electronics which are essential to build robots. In the last video, we understood what microcontrollers and Arduino boards are. We also looked at the various components of Arduino Uno board including the GPIO pin. If you guys have not watched that video, I request you to please stop this video and watch that video first. Else, you will not be able to understand few of the concepts. In this video, we will look at Arduino IDE and will start with Arduino programming. By the end of this video, we will write and upload our very first Arduino program. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment and IDE is a software that helps programmer to develop software code efficiently. Arduino IDE helps you in writing code and also with uploading code on your Arduino board. Let's proceed with downloading and installing Arduino IDE. We will keep this quick. Search for Arduino IDE on Google. Click on the official Arduino software page. Here you have few options to choose from like Arduino IDE 2 or the previous version Legacy IDE. We will download Arduino IDE 2. There are a couple of download options to choose from. As we are downloading for Windows, we will click on this option right over here. We will click on just download. If you want, you can also make a contribution. Skip this newsletter thing for now. Your IDE will start downloading and once it is downloaded, we will begin with the installation. Double click to run the downloaded file. Follow the instructions in the installation guide. This will take a few minutes. Allow all the pop-up. These are for installing the related drivers. Once your IDE is installed, open it. This is how Arduino IDE looks like. Arduino code is written in C++ language with addition of special methods and functions to simplify things. There are two types of programming languages, high level and machine level. High level language is a programming language that humans can understand. C++ is one such example. Machine level language also known as binary code consists of binary instructions that the machine in our case microcontrollers can understand and execute directly humans find machine code difficult to read and write because it consists of binary digits zeros and ones and the process of converting high level language program into machine level language program is called compilation and is performed by a software tool called compiler Arduino IDE has a built-in compiler and finally the compiled code is uploaded to the Arduino board. With this basic understanding, let's move forward. A program in Arduino is called Sketch. New Arduino Sketch contains these two functions by default. We'll look at this in a moment. You can save this sketch from here. Give it a name of your choice and click save. You can also use Ctrl S to save a sketch. Arduino sketches are saved as .ino file. All your sketches are stored in a folder. This folder is called sketchbook. You can access it from here. You can also see the sketch that we just saved. Sketchbook can also be accessed by clicking on this folder icon located in the sidebar. This button right here is used to compile the code. The button adjacent to is used to upload code. When you click on this button, the code will be first compiled and then it will be uploaded to your Arduino board. Ctrl U is the shortcut for the upload button. Our next step is to connect the Arduino board and try uploading this blank sketch. But before that, we need to figure out which Arduino board should we use. With Arduino board, there are plenty of options to choose from. For example, if we only look at Arduino Uno boards, we have Arduino Uno R3 and recently Uno R4 was also launched. 
Also, as these boards are open sourced, there are different versions of these boards available in the market. These include original boards developed in Italy, then there are Chinese clones and different variations by other companies. There is a link to a detailed guide in the description. This guide will help you in choosing the right Arduino board for your project. We will be using Minibot controller board in this video. It is a custom board developed by our company for our flagship robotics kit Minibot. At the heart of this board is Arduino Nano. So essentially, we will be learning how to work with Arduino Nano board. If you don't have a Minibot robotics kit, don't worry, you can still follow along with Arduino Uno R3 board or Nano board and some off-the-shelf electronics. Although, I will recommend you guys to check out the Minibot robotics kit. The link is in the description. It will completely transform your learning and experimentation process. Arduino Uno R3 and Arduino Nano are almost identical. In fact, in most of the cases, same code can be uploaded to both boards. We already know a lot about Uno R3. Let's look at Arduino Nano. Arduino Nano and Uno might look very different, but they are very similar. In fact, they have the same microcontroller 8Mega328P. Arduino Nano has a USB connector and reset button like Uno board and has all the GPIO pins that Arduino Uno has. In fact, in Arduino Nano layout, two extra pins are exposed. These are A6 and A7. These pins can only be used to read analog values. Only thing that is missing is the barrel jack. Arduino Nano is widely used because of its small size. Keeping this in mind, let's start with uploading a blank sketch on our Arduino Nano board. Firstly, connect your Arduino board to your computer using USB cable. Then select your board in the ID under the tool section. In our case, board is Arduino Nano. Then select the port on which it is connected. If you are seeing multiple COM ports, you can simply unplug your Arduino board and figure out which COM port disappeared. In some Arduino Nano boards, you will also have to choose the processor. In our case, we will choose 8Mega328P old bootloader. In most of the cases, default option should work fine. Let's upload the code. You can see in the output console, our code is successfully uploaded. Since it was a blank code, nothing really happened. Now let's upload the same code to Uno R3 board. Once again, connect the Arduino board to the computer using USB cable. Now select the board in the IDE. In this case, we will select the Arduino Uno option. Then select the port on which it is connected. You will not see processor option in this case. Upload the code and that's it. Now you know how to upload code on both Arduino Nano and Uno R3 board. The process will be similar for other boards as well. In case your port is not visible or you are not able to upload the code, follow the debugging guide provided in the description below. Perfect. Now let's get back at programming. The absolute minimum requirement of an Arduino program is the use of two functions, void setup and void loop. Void setup function executes only once when the Arduino is powered on or reset. Code that need to run only once, like initialization statement, are written inside void setup. Whatever statement is written between these curly braces is part of void setup. After the void setup, the void loop function is executed repeatedly in an infinite loop until the Arduino board is powered off or reset. Most of the actual code and logic is written inside void loop function. Let's summarize. Once the Arduino board is powered on, code is executed line by line. First, 
the statement written in void setup are executed then the execution of void loop starts void loop is executed again and again until the arduino board is powered off or reset these lines over here are called comments comments are ignored by the compiler these are used to make code easier to read and understand we can make a single line comment by using two forward slash and multi line comment can be made using forward slash and star now let's talk about a very important tool serial monitor it is used for real time monitoring and debugging you can open the serial monitor by clicking on this magnifying glass icon over here once your code is running the serial monitor can be used to communicate with the arduino board you can send messages from the arduino board that are displayed over here you can also send data back to your arduino board from this section over here our first program will be about printing hello at serial monitor we will have to use serial class in order to use serial monitor there are two main function in serial class first is serial begin this function initializes the serial communication between the arduino board and the computer this function only needs to run once as it is used for initialization so we will write this in the void setup we also need to provide a value to the serial begin function this value is called baud rate don't go on the name it is fairly simple term baud rate represent the speed at which data is transmitted over a serial line it is measured in bits per second baud rate can be just about any value within reason the only requirement is that both devices operate at the same rate one of the most common baud rate is 9600 we will provide this value to the serial begin function and we'll complete this statement by adding a semicolon as all statement in c++ ends with semicolon next we will use a function called serial print it is used to print data to the serial port this data can be viewed in the serial monitor tool whatever we want to print we can write inside parenthesis followed by the semicolon at the end in case of number we will write them as it is and in case of character and sentences we will write them in inverted commas serial print ln is another function that we can use to print data it is similar to serial print the only difference is that it prints the data in a new line in this program we'll print hello let's compile and upload this program our code is uploaded successfully now we can open the serial monitor in order to make sure it works same baud rate should be selected in the serial monitor you can see our arduino board is sending us hello congrats you have successfully executed your first arduino program we put a lot of effort in making these tutorials as informative and interesting as possible and also to clear concept from fundamental level and if you guys are loving it you will also love the mini bot robotics kit developed by us although you can follow these tutorial with off the shelf arduino board and components but we are 100% sure you will get best learning experience only with mini bot we have designed both mini bot and this robotic series keeping beginners in mind in fact mini bot and these tutorials are perfect combo also don't forget to subscribe next video will be even more interesting we will understand more programming concept and will write a lot of new programs